Right, so I've just this second parked up with 15 minutes left on my duty time on another, on another 15 hour day. Um, I've just come across this uh, small retail park, but it's all double yellow lines with the odd, the odd space within the double yellows. So I've just managed to be, to squeeze in, be uh, in front of a car, and the yellow lines. So without finding this, I might have been knackered. Um, but this is the type of thing you've got to do. Maybe drive into a town and look around for an industrial estate, retail park, anything like that. Even if they're full of double yellow lines, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm going to be parked here all night while all the businesses are closed, but you can still bet if I ended up parking on double yellow lines on, a, on an empty estate, some jobs worth would probably come and give me a ticket so I'm here now I'm tired first delivery in the morning is in Colchester where I am so I suspect the earliest it's going to open is around seven the latest I'd say half eight nine so I'll get there um, I'll get there in plenty of time anyway to be there for when they open um, Probably going freshen up somewhere now. Let's see if I can find a pub to watch the football at. Or just go to bed. I've not made my mind up yet. So this is it. Looks like I'm going to have trains going past me all night now. So this is it. Home sweet home. Good morning. I ended up not going to the pub and just getting a decent night's sleep. So all we need to do now is just get to this last this last delivery point, which is in a garden centre, which can be a bit of a pain. So. Uh, We'll just see what happens when we get there. Too hard, because there's got to be some kind of message. 
just been in, I've unloaded some of the stuff on the road with a Moffat, but now I'm going to have to back in so we can get the stuff out through the uh, through the back doors. Just waiting for one of the guys to come out to stop the traffic. I'm just going to go across there, you see. I just well, don't want to back across, a... back straight. Yeah, I just didn't want to back straight across, you see. So I've got to get in that entrance on the right hand side next to the big tree. But to get to it, I'm going to have to. like this, never panic, doesn't matter if you're holding anyone up, as long as you get in without damaging anything or having an accident. It's only a minute or two. Cheers. between two buildings at the back of the yard avoiding all these plants as you can see I've had to squeeze down that side of the building there's the Moffat at the back come through there and down that side doesn't help when everything's wet windows and mirrors and things like that right I'll just go and get this off That's the last one done, it took quite a lot longer than I thought just due to the nature of the stuff we had to get off. Um, but I actually got a brew though without asking for one. Which I need at this time in the morning because I haven't had one yet. Just 
So as you can see now, the left turn out of here is quite tight, but we have got a bit of extra room on the other side of the road where the junction comes out, but I've got to watch for this wall with the Moffat on the back end. So it is pretty tight. So as long as I take my time. the wall on the right, I'm looking through my left hand mirror and judging where my trailer is in relation to that wall. Just get round. That works so bad. So I've now loaded up with empties again. left at this junction back up to the main carriage where I could turn right and cut the corner off I think but uh, we're feeling it will be a bit busier turning right heading in towards the town centre so sometimes even going the long way around ends up being a bit quicker Some junctions out the uh, very close to white lines is from the traffic lights. Like then, it wasn't too bad, but I had to straddle both lanes to get around the corner. But the white lines and the traffic lights a bit further back at the junctions, I'd probably be able to stay in my own lane to get round. But uh, we tend to find junctions that are designed with a car in mind, and that's it, as you've probably noticed. So much for that plan, we've got a big queue of traffic now in front, but it is peak time in the morning, so it's pretty usual. i
services, I need some, uh, need some fuel, uh, I'll probably stop, have a bit of cereal, a sandwich, not eating yet today, so uh, I'll have my break here, that gives me enough time then to get back to where we are, probably about, um, probably about four hours yet to go back to the yard, so once we have the break here, services for fuel because fuel's expensive enough as it is. Um, but Cambridge services tend not to well I'm just looking now it's 150 a litre. So I'll just put enough in so I don't run out. Not gonna fill up. I'll probably park and uh, have something to eat first. on before you start reversing so the drivers know what you're doing rather than just stopping every now and then. Doesn't hurt as long as you take your time.
too bad, got him first time, just need to straighten up now. Right, that'll do. Sometimes got to stick out a bit further than the other wagons due to the Moffat being on the back. But, uh, right, I think I'll eat. Right, I've now eaten. So that'll be me sorted till later on. Just need to fuel up now on the way out. And then hopefully it's back to the yard in one uh, one stint. I tend to use the Shell fuel stations when fueling up because I have um, I've got the Shell um, driver card where you can uh, collect points for every transaction. Now, one thing Shell don't tell you unless you read the small print. Um, and the little leaflets is that you only get awarded 125 points per transaction. Normally it's one point per litre, but that's up to a maximum of 125 litres. So for example, if you fill up once with 400 litres, you still only get 125 points. So what I tend to do, because I'm a bit of a cheapskate, is um, put 125 litres in, switch the pump off, then put another 125 litres in. So altogether that's 250 litres obviously, but you get your 250 points. And like I said before, in, in, that, in that instance, if you were to put 250 litres straight in, you'd still only get your 125 points. <clears throat> so if you like collecting your points, just remember that once you've gone past 125 litres on the fuel pump, the maximum you'll ever get is 125 points. Okay.